Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I absolutely love having you here. Thank you for coming back and watching this monthly favorite video. I'm really excited about what I've discovered this month. To be honest, this monthly favorite kind of falls back into January since I got a lot of the stuff over the summer. So kind of my January, February favorites. The first one is All Natural Perfume by Amazon. And I have it in the, I wanted to say shade, but I have it in the I Am Gentle perfume. It is So the reason I really wanted an all natural perfume is because every time I put on normal perfume, I probably have to sneeze 20 times before I leave the house. The owner was really sweet and he just said I could wear it all day and if I don't sneeze then obviously I can buy the product. I'm not sure how much the small one retails for only because I was on their website now and it's actually pretty hard to navigate which is probably the downfall of this brand. But I could find that the big one retails for $90 and I'm pretty sure from memory the, the small one retails for... It's $80. I'm going to guess. It's a guess. But you can obviously always email them and give them a call. They're really friendly and they'll definitely love to help you out. I honestly wish you guys could smell this. <coughs> the tail to What they are tell you doesn't taste nice. Mmm. It's a really sweet, sweet smell. I'm really, really happy with this. It's long wearing as well. And every time that I've worn it, someone has commented on the smell. Next thing is... My Maybelline Superstay Foundation. I only bought it because of a YouTuber recommending it and I was like, this is great, I need a full coverage foundation. Last time I used it, I didn't love it because I wasn't used to having such a drying foundation. All my foundations previously were really hydrating and just really fresh. This was new for me and to be honest, the first day that I wore it, I absolutely hated it. <laughs> But in my defense, I don't usually, at that time, didn't wear a lot of full coverage foundation. So I think everything just felt really claustrophobic on my face. It felt heavy. Then I saw a lot of reviews on it and so many YouTubers loved this product. So obviously it made me think, okay, what am I doing wrong? Why, am I, why is this not working for me? What I decided to do was to moisturize my face. Just use this product here which is called Ilia. I just put that on just to hydrate my skin before I put this foundation on. Since doing that I have loved, loved this product. Obviously not as hydrating as other foundations but it is so flawless on the skin. I'm actually wearing it now. It's so beautiful on the skin. Just make sure that if you have a really drying skin or even combination skin that you use a primer or moisturizer that will just really enhance that hydration for your skin. Before I forget, this retails for $24.95 and if you're in Australia, if you go to Chemist Warehouse, I'm pretty sure it's only like $13.99. The next thing that I got, and this one I am so excited about, the more you will get to know me, the more you realize that I love products that are natural. So I have something called sinusitis and basically what this is is my canals I think they're called canals between my nose and my ears are abnormally small and they get clogged up a lot so the chances of me breathing through my nose are very unlikely what my doctor told me about was let me just get it because it's really heavy are you ready this is called <sighs> a Himalayan salt lamp it is so good I, it doesn't smell like anything. If you rub your hands on it, you will get salt all over your fingers. My mother-in-law bought this for me. But basically, what it's supposed to do, hold on, let me just read off their website. It says, natural living proponents and other fans of Himalayan pink salt lamps claim that the negative salt ions released by heating can boost blood flow, improve sleep, increase levels of serotonin in the brain, and calm allergy or asthma symptoms. Have I noticed a difference yet? I don't know because especially with my sinuses, it's different every night. I think just the thought of this lamp and just 
firstly how beautiful it is. I mean, it's just stunning. Just the fact that someone thought of creating such a beautiful product that aims to help you sleep and it's again it's all natural. The other great thing about this product is that it can be so cheap and affordable. I looked on their website and the prices range depending on the size you get and the weight. It can range from $25 through to $70. It all depends on what you want. I'm not too sure how much this one was but there's a website, I'll link them down below, on where you can get a salt lamp in Australia. It's definitely something I recommend if you struggle to sleep or have any allergy symptoms. Give it a go. The only thing that, that I struggled with regarding this lamp is that once it's turned on, it's quite orange. So my mother-in-law sleeps with it on the floor because she says it just obviously it's not as intense. It can take quite a lot of getting used to. I'm not totally used to it so some nights I'll get up and put it off but then I'll make sure that I leave it on for during the day. I recommend that you leave this on as much as you can during the day, during the night. Sometimes if I'm really tired and the light will disturb me I just make sure I leave it on during the day and at night that I turn it off. Just do whatever works for you. So the next thing that I got this Chi Chi makeup box. Oh, let me put it the other way around. <laughs> Basically, I'm obviously like not a really big beauty guru, like I don't know a lot of stuff, but I just wanted something cheap and something affordable that will just be able to compact all my makeup in it. Not too big, not too bulky, and not too heavy. I do my makeup in the bathroom, but I store it in my room. So it's nice to literally just take this and pick it all up and just take it all in one go because before I would used to have to walk backwards and forwards between my room and the bathroom and all that sort of stuff. This retails for $59 which is pretty cheap because I had a look at some of um, more higher end makeup cases and this is definitely a really good deal. So I'm just going to try and open a few guys. I'm definitely going to have to do this out of better angle. <laughs> okay. We will do that now. Just made my makeup a lot easier in the morning. The compartments I pull out, they're not the greatest quality in the world. If you're looking for something with like excellent, excellent, expensive quality, this is probably not the product for you. It definitely does the job, it hasn't broken and it hasn't loosened or bent or anything, so it's holding together really well. The last thing on my January, February favourites is called a Veet Sensitive Precision Beauty Styler and Hair Trimmer. I didn't keep the box because I didn't think I would love it this much. It comes with this bag. That you can see there and it's just kind of like a I don't know the material but a waterproof bag I would assume it feels like a waterproof bag the aim of this product is to be able to shave and trim in areas that are not easily reachable by a normal shaver the reason I really wanted to try this was because I do not wax my previous videos I have said that I have a fear of needles and that needle phobia comes from anything to do with the idea of ripping my skin pulling my skin piercing my skin whatever it might be biting my skin it it, it just doesn't work for me though. it just sends shivers up my spine and it mm -mm. I've never waxed before so I was doing everything with a shaver. I know, TMI, sorry guys. I saw this product come out and I was like, I have to try this. Like, I just have to try this. I have only tried it on my eyebrows. What I found is... Oh wait, let me actually just maybe show you the product first. <laughs> it comes like this. And it comes with a little cap on top that you can just take off. And then this is the head of the shaver. This part of the shaver is for your brows. So you'll see, let me just explain this to you again, one side of the head it is shorter and on the other side it is a bit longer. It definitely does the job and I was able to more easily get the shape of the brows that I wanted and to really shape them a lot more because obviously with the normal shaver you can't do that because you don't want to shave off your whole brow. It did however take quite 
a few times to really get the hairs off, which I don't actually mind. Because if it was so sharp and took it off straight away and you made a mistake, you're gone. Even though in the moment I was like, oh, this is really frustrating that I have to keep going over it, it's actually really, really good because it allows you just to build it up and just to make sure, do you really want to take this hair off? The other clip that it has, this one's a bit TMI, so sorry if you're a dude. I am so sorry, but gotta give the whole review, you know? I don't even know how to put this on. You're supposed to take this part off? Okay. Well, I don't know how to put that on. It's not working. Everything else has worked. It's really complicated. Okay, I don't know how to put this next one on. As I said, sorry if you're a dude. This is going to get a little bit girly for a second. The other hit that it comes with is this one. So you can kind of see the shape of it. If you haven't guessed already, it is for all your business down there. If you do not wax like myself, <laughs> it's getting quite intimate, isn't it? This is just an easy way. Let's not be awkward about it. It's an easy way to shave that area. I haven't tried this just yet because I realized that I haven't checked their waterproof policy because I don't really want to use this in the bath and then it breaks. Hey guys, that is all that is uh that is all my January February favorite camera is about to die so I'm talking really really fast. <laughs> But I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Everything that I spoke about will be in my description box below. I will link all the websites and everything for you guys. Please remember to love on this video. Subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.